So hey guys, so welcome back to Smex Banana. Today we'll be talking about Free Dot Tier. This is actually one of the four core websites that all traders should actually know. I'm actually speaking pretty softly right now because I really have no other time to actually do it, especially during a night. So just trying to use every opportunity I can to really make videos just for you guys as much as possible. So very quickly, um, you actually enter just as how I entered just now previously. You know, just signing by your Steam, and you're immediately brought into something called the Trade Dot Tier. Which is actually the um, basic homepage. Okay, so let me share with you what are the actually the functions of actually how to use it. So first of all, I check the price list of especially keys because um, as a being a trader, you really need to know um, what are the prices of keys as it often changes. And this is actually a very accurate way, way because it actually changes every single day. Unlike backpack.tf, it only changes maybe once a week, once a month, and it takes a pretty long time before you get an accurate price. However, this shows a pretty accurate price for the day. So as you can see, it is so accurate so much so you can actually um, buy and sell the keys at the price um, that um, the person is actually wanting or purchasing for. So this is the most accurate way to actually um, check the prices of keys, you know, no matter where you go. And of course, um, furthermore, if you think, you know, you can also detect if the keys actually plan is dropping or declining or increasing um, based on the number of um, keys the person has left or number of people actually demanding it as well. So it's easy to tell and this is how people actually profit from it. Pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, so the next thing, okay, other than key pricing, which I always use, okay, there's something called um, how to actually trade for um, live deals. This is actually the how mid tier um, traders actually come to okay technically just me i'm not sure how the tf2 trading actually now changes because um in the past trade.tf is a very very wonderful website where you can actually check um, what items are actually most profitable and uh, what pr um, profitable items are actually released um, by traders or maybe by the community today so how do you actually access to this something called gopro in order to access uh, um, as you can see you need live deals you need to have the gopro thing and how do you actually do that? Very simply, just add trade.tf to your name. Okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, so you go to your friend page, so to go to your page, your profile page, and then of course, you just change your profile picture. And of course, okay, I'm gonna change it to Smexy Banana. Okay, then of course, you can just put, uh, let's see, I don't put you to, I just put trade.tf, okay, for simplicity's sake. Then you're done. You just put trade.tf at the back of your um, name. It should be good to go. Give it a while, of course, um, because it will take time before you actually accept it. Okay, so what are ways um, what you can actually do, okay, is either you refresh it or, you know, wait for a little while, log out, and then re-enter back in. So that's what I'll be doing. So once you've actually done that, okay, the system will actually say, oh, you're already a pro. So very, very easy, very easy to change. So, you know, as you can see that, log out and log back in after changing your name. So as you can see, it's actually written here. So once you've actually done that, you will now be able to access all the good deals that you can actually have okay so let me share with you how i actually got some of my good deal okay give me a second so i always use live deals as well as good deals i really use the market deals it's very difficult because people already got it very quickly okay so these two i'll actually use it okay so how i actually use live deals okay so for example let's say i want to have a minimum baseline profit of maybe let's say 20 percent for example some people like it that way some people like it more or less you can just adjust it accordingly and you know when you can you know afk you can just press uh, press the sound oh okay i don't i don't on it too loud i think i'm gonna get killed by the sound i was surprised okay so i can remove all these caution show straight from steam market i can remove all these because these will actually up the profit and it's not really worth it so so as you can see from here fast bot as is actually currently selling his um scattergun for 0 0.0.44 refine and I'm able to earn one scrap profit. So, you know, your profit can immediately start with just having less than one refined. As you can see, I really made a one scrap profit if I purchase from him. This is an example, but however, do be careful. Um, do your research, especially um, from the previous websites, do your research um, because profit is an illusion, but what you're paying for is reality. So that's one actually something I've learned. Do not be taunted by the profit margin. Do some research and see, you know, like, hey, you know, is the profit earnable? Is, are people, is the demand good for it? Then you start to purchase it. 
that is what a lot of traders make their mistakes so do be extremely careful and of course um, do read up my videos as well which I'll also post it below of how to use uh, backpack.tf, crop.tf as well as tf2 outpost okay so once that is done so that is the live deals so that's how it works so you actually get the best deals as quickly as possible if any of them actually shows and it's way faster than um, then you find it on team of TF outpost is so much easier. It's like a compilation of it, and it's also another compilation, just that it's a bit older. Okay, for example, you can find it maybe a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, a few hours, a few days ago. So, uh, for example, I like to buy an unusual, and of course, you can slowly see, you know, what are the good deals you can actually have. You can actually find, as you can see, see there are plenty of good deals right here. See, I can easily spot 22 key item worth 17 keys. 20 key worth item, 18 keys, and of course, you can slowly look for the profit margin that you're looking for. For mine, you can look for maybe 20% onwards and etc., and probably negotiate with that person um, with, uh, more as it goes along. So, as you can see, it's a pretty good website to use. As you can see, 40% right there. So, that is how you can actually use the um, good deals. And of course, you can also search for the item that you really want. For example, not necessarily be um, unusual, it can be collector. Of course, they need to search again, and etc. So you can see, um, but generally, but generally, um, it's useful for unusual. That is what I actually use for because it's so much easier to check as well, rather than you know single items. But of course, you can also check. Uh, maybe just that it's not going to be very um generic as what you think. Uh, probably at most you're gonna give you like sun on a stick, then professional kill streak or kill streak. Uh, may not be that accurate as well. Okay, so that is a slight con, but it's absolutely. The perfect website for you to really find profit, which I think many of you really want to achieve. So this one website I actually use. Okay, another um, thing that is actually really interesting and very helpful is actually their Steam updates. Okay, just to let you guys know, in the past, um, number one crafting. Okay, actually today, number one um, crafting numbers are actually worth a lot of money. So much so it's actually worth up to a butt if you're actually made to craft or even four butts. So it's extremely expensive by the way guys. So if you're made to craft, you know, so whenever you know there's a TF2 update, I really don't know how people actually manage to get to craft random items, especially random new items. So if you manage to do it, you know, this will actually show you um, what are the recently added or modified items. For example, like, you know, the all class unusuals, which is very extremely helpful, especially when you're trying to profit items from there. Of course, you can also look at trends. Trends, of course, um, what, how much are people, um, as you can see, like I said, how much, how many people are actually selling their TF2 keys, how many people are buying TF2 keys, which will actually help to indicate, you know, what is happening into the economy, demand and supply. Uh, but I don't really use this. I really tend to just look at the trade, the, the the trading market. Just now I showed you previously on the trade.tf keys. And of course, um, what I'm really interested in also, really, um, is really the effort to really put in a lot of information about each and every trade, of uh, whether it yields the most um, profit as well or disappointment as well. So you can see, for example, um, there's something called gambler where you know profit the most with the high chance of profit. So you should go for this 92 and and it's actually a very interesting research and theory that they actually came upon and cra um, done upon so as you can see it's pretty good chance of profiting as well you know if you really love luck so they've really calculated all the luckability if you call it um, of winning and profiting from it so it's absolutely amazing it usually provides a lot a lot of information and of course um, the community as well of all the TF2 um, websites to actually for you to go but I'll just leave down four, which I've already done so. And of course, there's also a forum page, and you can also, you know, put in, um, start a new discussion, you know, and sell your item from here, or maybe look for potential purchase from here as well. So with that, I've actually covered pretty much of what trade.tf2. Oh, I forgot to mention. Sorry, one last thing. Okay, um, something called the my bot that trade.tf actually started is absolutely amazing. You can actually sell your items um, automatically um, without you uh, with you being offline. So, but I really do not want to do this because I'm worried I'm a kiasu. I mean kiasi person. So in 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 Singapore, it just means that I'm afraid to actually lose lose um, something because anything can actually go wrong with the bot. But it's really up to you. I'm not the risk taker. 
I can so hence I don't really use bots myself. I everything all the trades I do is all done manually. But if you want to take the risk, so far I think it's risk free. Okay, and you can actually sell them online, um, offline as well. So we can see as many people actually selling the items offline through the bots. As you can see, trading market all right here. All these are done through bots. So it really saved a lot of time, really a lot of effort, and really I must thank them. Really must thank Trade.tf so much um, for their offline bot which makes trading so much easier. So this is definitely one of the four core websites that really helped me out and probably you as well. So with that, we've come to the end of the main series of how to at least trade your items from scratch and I really hope you guys really enjoyed the series and this is just the beginning. Okay, you just want to set up you know, the very basics you know, for you guys so you're able to trade much easier as well. So with that, that's the end of the video and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.